Other than being of Italian descent, Joe Leone in Trona had no direct connection to the people of L'Aquila. Joe's ancestors came from Malfetta, Bari, in southern Italy. L'Aquila is located in central Italy, about 70 kilometers northeast of Rome in the Abruzzi region. On the morning of April 7, when Joe saw images of the devastation in L'Aquila on television, he immediately decided to do something to help. I saw what happened, um, and I remember back in 82, uh, the earthquake of 82, and I remember there was a couple fundraisers going on, and I was only seven years old at the time, but I, I do kind of remember it, and I remember my grandmother getting very upset about it because there was so much devastation back then. And I looked at this and I said, you know, this might be my opportunity to help um, help them out. So I got I got the ball rolling um, when I heard about the earthquake, and then I saw the news footage, and I just started thinking away of how can I raise money to to help the people of L'Aquila. I've been through L'Aquila before. I've seen the town fully intact, and when I saw the devastation, I. I just decided, I said, you know, I'm going to put something together and try to get emergency need to, to the people. On April 11, only five days after the L'Aquila earthquake, Joe held an impromptu Italian festival in the parking lot of his store in Point Pleasant Beach. Despite the inclement weather, over $25,000 was raised in one day. Joe then decided the best course of action was to go to L'Aquila himself and use the funds he had raised to purchase supplies that were desperately and immediately needed by the people of L'Aquila. To house the people who had lost their homes in the earthquake, the Italian government set up tent cities. Over 40,000 people lived in these tents. What Joe and his group saw when they arrived in L'Aquila had a profound and lasting impact on all of them and was, in many ways, a life-altering experience. When I actually came face to face with an individual, it was truly an overwhelming feeling because these people are living in tents. They're just, they had nothing, absolutely nothing left. And it was so heart-wrenching to see it that you couldn't do enough for them. You couldn't, I, there wasn't anything that we would stop to, to not do for them because you just wanted to replenish. I mean, they went as young as infants and as old as 75, 80, 85, maybe even 90 years old. It was, a, it was an overwhelming experience. You know, we were in a, uh, one of the villages and I had, um, We'd given them everything that they needed, the shoes and, and blankets. And uh, one of the managers um, of this one village didn't have a watch. I, and uh, I saw him talking to somebody else, and he looked at his wrist, and he realized he didn't have his watch. And I said, you know, do you have a watch? He said, no, I, I, I lost it in the uh, earthquake. So I just didn't even hesitate. I just gave him my watch. and. Uh, you know, it was, it was a great feeling just to, just to give and not even be concerned about it. I was going around to the camps. Um, a woman walked up to me. She had a Bible in her hand. She looked like she was all disheveled. And she walked up to me and she said, you know, grazie sai, grazie sai. And she handed me a St. Joseph card. She didn't even know my name was Joseph. And I, I kind of took this as, as a calling of some sort, a, a calling from my patron saint, St. Joseph. One of the things that struck Joe as he walked through the tent cities of L'Aquila were the looks of despair and utter sadness on the faces of the children. Joe felt compelled to do something to help them. What I did was, um, I know of this store in, in Rome that makes soccer jerseys, that have soccer jerseys, soccer balls, they sell cleats, they sell, they sell nets, everything that you could think of in the, in the, in the soccer world or as they like to refer as football. But we, what, what I did was I, I said, let me get the national jerseys from the national, the Italian national team, the blue jerseys, and then have screen printed L'Aquila and actually put Joe Leone's on there. And I got all different random sizes. I think we got about 30 of them. 
and we showed up and we gave those kids the jerseys, the soccer balls, the soccer nets, and to see the light on their face, like, wow, look at this, and they started playing soccer, and they put the, the jerseys on, was a, it was a good feeling for me, a good feeling for them, I thought. Kids are still kids, and they're still living through this, and I felt that it was a, um, it was a necessity. He goes, let's have L'Aquila put on one side, and we'll have the beautiful colors, and then we'll have Joe Leone's on the back. And as he goes and he's trying to explain this to the guy in the sporting goods store, the guy was from L'Aquila. And he was like, he was like crying. He was, you're doing this for my kids. You take them back and you give them to the kids. And all of a sudden, what was kind of a dull haze over their eyes, all of a sudden, every, everybody lit up. Everybody was smiling. It was, it was the best feel-good thing that you could possibly have because there were so many of them. There was a lot of them, you know. I think that it's really, really nice to do good things for people you don't know and people that you're probably never really going to see ever in your life again.